Hey, what's up all you fishing addicts out there? We're out on the local lake, we're doing some crappie fishing. I thought this was a good opportunity to show some of you beginning addicts out there the different type of stringers that you can buy at the stores and how you use them. So that's the tutorial that we're gonna bring at you today. But before we do, if you're brand new to the channel, don't forget, tap that little subscribe button down there. We're Addicted Fishing, we're bringing you all sorts of educational videos, also inspiring stuff that'll hopefully get you excited to get out and catch some fish. So stay tuned, how to use a stringer's coming up next. Got another one. What is he? What is he? Ooh, that's a big crappie. We got a keeper, I think. That's a giant. That's a giant, dude. Look at that. This is a species we're after, addicts. All right, guys, so we got a nice crappie here. The, the legal limit on this lake is gonna be nine inches, so we definitely uh, got a nine inch or plus here. So what we're gonna do is I wanted to show you guys there's a few different options out there when it comes to stringers, but when you go to your local Walmart or wherever you're shopping, you're gonna find two main stringers. You're gonna find one like this that's basically a rope style springer, sorry, a rope style stringer. Damn, I wanna say springer because I'm thinking about spring salmon here already. Um, but what it's gonna do is it's gonna have a nice, little round piece of metal here and then it's going to have a spike on the other end and then it's just a, a long strand of rope so how these work is you're going to take your fish here we have a crappie here but this is going to work for any species of fish and what you're going to do is you can see the gill plates opening here you're going to stick your gill plate or you're going to stick that spike up through the gill plate and it's going to come out the other side like that and then what you're going to do you're gonna take the spike and you're gonna put it through the circle and run it down and there you go. Now there's no way for that fish to get off that stringer. And the other cool thing I like about these, these spike style um, stringers like this is for one, you can put a lot of fish on this thing. It'll fit a ton of different fish. But then also what you can do is when you're done and you want to just keep these things in the water you always want to either keep them on ice or keep them in cold water this water is pretty cold so we're just going to keep them in the water you're going to put them in like that and you can take your spike stringer here and just insert that right into the mud and now you're dialed and your fish isn't going to get away so that is stringer number one for an option all right, so number two option when you go to the store is these chain stringers. And this one's from Ozark Trail. And if you guys are interested in purchasing these stringers, I'll make sure I put some Amazon links down below so you guys can find these style of stringers if you want to get them for your kids. Or These are great little stocking stuffers. We are coming up on the holiday season. So these are great things for your kids and that kind of stuff. And you can see Clint over here. He's terrible at catching fish. He's been trying this whole time and hasn't hooked one. <laughs> So look at him, he's doing real good, but that's beside the point. So stringer number two is gonna be the chain stringer. And so when we open this guy up, this is how it's gonna look. It's gonna pull out like this, and you're gonna have a tangled mess of stringers. And what you're gonna have to do first is get it all untangled. So how these work is you go like that, see is this one tangled here too so it's gonna come like I said when it comes out of the package it's gonna be pretty tangled so you're gonna have to kind of untangle it here and so that's what you have basically it's got let's see what does it come with one two three four five six seven eight nine it's got nine different little hooks and how this works is we're gonna leave this top hook available and we're gonna take our bottom hook here. I usually start from the bottom and basically you unhook it. So it's just like a, like a spring system. You push here, releases the pressure and just like that. So what we're gonna do 
got, got a nice crappie here. We're going to take this stringer. You're going to put it through the gill plate just like you would the string one, as you can see like that. And boom. And then once we get more of them here, we can keep attaching them to the stringer like so. These work, these work pretty well, but honestly, I like the rope ones better just because they're easier to use and you can put a lot more fish on them. So, you know, this, like I said, this only has a capacity to hold eight to nine fish. So it's not going to, whereas the, the rope stringer, you can fit literally as many, many fish on there as you want. But same thing, you're going to want to make sure after you get it hooked up, make sure that that thing is very hooked. You know, you want to make sure that it's, it's under its little, it's crevice there. So you, as you can see, it's got like a little overlap and you just take that as that springs out and you put it underneath there like that. And then same thing, I like to throw this in the water. And then what I'll do typically, so I'll put them in the water like this, wherever he can sit. And then what I'll do is I'll take something, whether it be, you know, a chair or something that's on the bank, and I'll take this other hook that's up top here, and I'll attach it around something. So this chair is gonna be good. We're gonna go like that. Boom. Just so you don't lose your fish. You don't want to lose them. You know, that's the worst thing that could happen. It's the worst when you spend all day, you catch a bunch of fish and then it falls off your stringer. You definitely don't want that to happen. So you can attach it to something like that. If you're in the boat, you know, you can put it off to the side, you know, on the gunnel. A lot of times boats will have little pieces of metal or anywhere, anywhere where the hook will hook onto, you can do it. So that is the chain stringer and that's how it works. Oh, that looks like a bigger one. I don't know like, no, that's small. I've caught in like three already. I've caught in two. Yep. Actually, exactly nine inches. Boom! Yeah. Another keeper. There we go. All right, addicts. So we're having a good little beat down here. We got another crappie here, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how, when you're adding to these stringers, how you're going to do it here. So, first things though. You always want to bleed your fish just like we do with all fish. So we're going to take our Gerber knife here and cut in the gill plate like so. So he starts bleeding out. Is it a good one? Oh yeah. He's not a keeper. He's a good crappie. He may be. He's just short. Let's measure him right here. She's a fatty, but she's got a good personality. All right, so we got the other one here, just like this, so it's the same thing. You're gonna wanna take your hook, undo her here, through the gill plate, out the mouth, hit him. And then I like to, as he's bleeding out, I like to get him in the water right away so he continues to bleed good. So today we're gonna get him in there. I like to kinda flip him around a little bit so that, that blood doesn't you know, coagulate too much and it continues to bleed out good. So that's how you use that metal one. Now let's take them off here real quick. And show you. Here. So, so if you're using this stringer, the way I showed you guys with one fish, you do the exact same thing. So basically what I like to do is I'll go through here and then what I'll do is I'll go through the other fish just in that gill plate, and then you can take them both down to the metal, through the ring, like so. And then same thing, just throw them in the water, and they ain't going anywhere. Put your spike into the ground. So there you have it everyone. If you're new to fishing and you're just learning how to use stringers, those are a couple different options for you. You can get them available in most of your Walmarts or Fred Meyers or any of the sporting goods stores that you may shop. I'll make sure I drop some links down below if you guys want to get them. Thanks again so much for tuning in. We appreciate it. Now we got to get to beating down some more crappie. We'll see you guys on the river.